Yeah, welcome everybody to the next day of BGCS Season 3. I'm here with Kyle. Hello everybody, welcome on in. And yeah, so we have playing esports versus broken esports, two very, very good teams today. We haven't seen them play yet of Season 3, so I'm excited to see how this will play out. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup today. Um, as you know, the team... Flame Esports, I think, just take it. They have the edge. You know, they have Oto, who I believe is Gonzalo. They have a returning player in Minty, Minty Fiend, you know, who was a really strong player, part of the mischievous free setup from Season 1. And then they have two new players in Stoof and Wanzi. They are two champs. Uh, so it'll be good to see what they can bring to the table. And then... They have a returning player in Musa, who everyone should know as he was part of season one. I can't remember the team, though, that he was part of. I wish I had Brooks here, because Brooks would know. Um, but yeah, they, that's a very strong lineup. You know, Minty is an incredibly strong player. So is Gonzalo, so is Musa. And if the the champs or anything go by, it'll be you know, good to see them in action. Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm very excited to see how Broken Esports have come straight out of the bat. Uh, people have been, uh, you know, not not saying, not 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 putting them very high in their table. And, you know, Flamey Sports and most predictions I've seen on the middle table on this. Hopefully Broken can prove to everybody they're not that low team and unable to take down Flamey Sports who have put middle on most predictions. Yeah, well, looking at the, the, the broken esports team, you know, they're, they're just a team of four at the moment. They're still looking for one, you know, champ player. We have two champs that will be playing tonight are Yeet, Yuri Kid, or known as Tur also known as Turtle. You know, he's been a long, long member of the community. You know, he's been banned a few times. He's been in and out, but he's turned his, you know, behaviour around and he's been welcomed back for season three here. Uh, we've got, you know, someone we know very well, Azza. You know, he he was a big part of Clinical Masterminds when, you know, we were doing that together in Season 1. Um, and then they've got a new player in TikTok, Bags RL. You know, we've seen him in the 2v2 tournament, looked a very solid player. And then a player that you know very well, their other GC is CMAT, you know, is the... the the sort of prodigal son, you know, he was the, a player that you coached, you yeah. know, so... Very good player, he unfortunately won't be playing today, Aaron will be taking his role. As... Uh, as, yeah, um, Aaron, Aaron's a good player though as well, um, everyone will know him around the community, so... Yeah. Decide what he can bring. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be an interesting matchup, uh, I think. You know, I think I, I rate, you know, I was one of the people that in my predictions rated Broken Esports not do the best, you know, and that's no no disrespect to any of the players. I just feel that this will be a good learning curve for them this season, and if they can stay together and grow as a team next season, that's when they'll do well. So I'm going 3 now to Flame Esports here. I do like, you know, Minty and Musa are both very good players. I know them. I know Gonzalo. You know, I just, I know what, you know what you're going to get. From. You're going to get high offense. I think it'll be too much pressure for Broken Esports to deal with. Yeah, um, I have a very similar prediction. I think Broken Esports will be able to possibly bring a game out. So my prediction is. Very one to flame esports. Um, I think Broken might be able to, you know, maybe get the first game straight out of the bat, like bring all all the speed from Aaron himself. Um, I might be able to get that first <coughs> game win, but I think flame esports as soon as that first game, you know, maybe a little, maybe a bit of jitters, calm down, they'll be able to take it in a three one win. But yeah, it looks like we have everyone in the lobby. Yep, let's yeah, get ready so... to rumble then. Getting going. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit. 
a bit of bit confusion of. at the start, there's only two players in. But yeah. Yeah, this is a, a scuff start from, but there we go. Third person is in now and we can get off and running. And yeah, it would just be good good to see. I think this will be on how the, the GCs play. You know, Azza and Minty. Who Minty is LFC CR LFCRL? Uh yeah. Um, um but yeah. It looks very back and forth at the start here. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a very scrappy it's beginning, just feeling each other out, seeing what each other can do. Friend does bang it away, but it gets sent straight back to his own net. Let's get another save, baby bags out there. Pass it to the center. Minty will take solo. That's control for Minty, he secures the boost. But just doesn't have the control there, but everyone missed it from broken esports. Yeah. It's just it's hovering around the midfield, it's looking dangerous on both sides on the defence here. Defence looks a bit scrappy from both teams. Aaron now has to get back, he just saved it just in time. Anyone from his team help him out? That was a really good cut from Gonzalo there. You know, just cut, took control, got a good shot, but Adam is equal to it. Passing it down. Snape would get the shot off the... They, the Flame Esports seem to have a lot of the pressure in this uh, this game one now. They look like they've taken over a little bit. Still not able to get the goal there, though. Aaron. It's not the best miss. Yeah, Bad. and if you, don't, if you don't take your chances, they can come back to haunt you. Yeah, they can indeed. Smashes it into the corner. Bit scrappy rotations here, a lot of team bumping. A lot going on at the moment. We'll see if that will calm down as the game goes on. Thanks. Pass it to Aaron. Aaron takes the shot. It's saved by her. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that was that was her. You just died. No, yeah, I did just die. <laughs> it's I... saved by her. <laughs> By Minty, that was. Oh, oh, and Aaron clears out bags, but luckily Turtle's there to rec bail them out. Who's Katsu? Do we know? Was that actually yeah. his name? Um, I can't remember. Katsu will be. Crispy. No, not Crispy. Minty. Pass it off. Spend down the field. Minty senses it. Gets the redirect over two, but Aaron takes it himself. Around one. Not able to get around the rest of the defense, so he's still hovering. Sends it middle for Yikid. Yikid goes up for an aerial. Does miss, so Minty bang it down the other side of the field, following it up. Nothing comes off it yet. Katsu will either be Stoof or Onesie. Right, okay. No, I hope. Otherwise, it's scuffed. Yeah, Minty gets the double tap. With a wee bit of help from, I think it was. Bags and net. That was a brilliant setup, and he, he sent his other teammate up to maybe try and fake him getting the double tap. That was a beautiful double from Minty Fiend there. Bags. Minty sends it up. Teammates following up. Ye kid does control that well. Keeps it to himself. Does get not the best bang down the field, and now it's intercepted by Katsu. Katsu takes it solo. If the pinch of the wall. As the deals a while, well, pass it down to Bags. Play these spots just seem to have all the pressure. But yeah, they have all the pressure, you know, all the attempts, and you know, they finally capitalized on one of those attempts. Yeah, bro um, broken esports seem to just keep passing the ball between them and getting intercepted just like that one there. And there's two now. Gonzalo coming up, and that's just a double commit from Turtle and Bags. Passing it out into the center. And they just need to settle down. You know, I don't know how much scrimming that they've done together as a team. You know, if it's not done, been much, then... Yeah, if it's not been much, then... You know, they're going to take time to get used to each other. Yeah, 100%. You know, maybe they can work it out mid-series or... Maybe in, later in the later in the season. But we'll all have to see. That's a triple commit there, all three of them up on the offensive side. Yeah. Bag centers it. 
chance here, but Adam was just a bit slow to it. And now they're all rushing back, and Yeet Kid doesn't get the best touch. Another double commit. Aaron gives the 50 around one, but has no boost to no. get it around Flint either. Salo makes it three with a beautifully powerful shot into the top of the net. Brilliant pass from Katsu. Yeah. And Adam will get him bumped. Broken Esports just looked a bit lost in defense. Uh, and then when they did finally figure it out, he got bumped out the way. Salo. Not the best kick off. Not many. Does well. Take control, but not the best to control there. And Adam has a free shot. Cleared away. Salo passes it over. That's not from Salo. No, that was. Fajita. 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 He gets um, the last yeah. shot. Does it... And that is his hat trick. Yeah, does it, mean any... does it mean anything for the season, uh, series, but it means something for his hat trick. Mm -hmm. And that is a great game one. For Flame Esports in the bag, you know, we move on to game two and Broken Esports really need to stop the double commits, be more calm. Yeah, 100%, yeah. Uh, Flame Esports just seems to have all the pressure of Broken Esports, as you said, just constant double commits. I mean, in the first minute or so, they looked, uh, they looked decent. The teams were just figuring each other out, but as soon as uh, Flame Esports got their ground they, they kept it yeah they just need a uh, they just need to you know they just need to take control of the ball the broken esports they just need to take control of the ball you know don't rush it you know but the too many diving and double commit um and if they can get that down there i can definitely see them sneaking a game yeah, hundred percent. Because as well as Flame Esports did in that game, they weren't they weren't shy of getting a double commits either. They had they had quite a few themselves. Yep. Broken Esports can find the gaps. They can hundred percent take a game or even take a series. But yeah, here we go. Kick off in game two. Uh, a game I feel that Broken Esports need to win. Yeah, hundred percent. Going, going, to, going to two games down in the best of five series is brutal. Definitely for your mentals. Well, especially, I just I know Aaron and Turtle very well, and I know that, you know, their mentals really can take take hit. If the double hit. Aaron sends it to the left wall. Can he follow it up? He just hit it off the backboard now, but it's good interception by the other team there. Miss on the backboard by uh, Minty. Let some space for Bag to center it, but unfortunately, no one's there to help him out. Toto just can't get a clean connection on it. He had a chance there to get the goal. So it looks very awkward here. That's who will just come in and disturb the defense. Aaron gets a beautiful dunk. Is he able to shoot this? He's not able to get back in time, unfortunately. One minute he doesn't get the right kind of touch away. Kept it center for them, and this is good pressure coming from Broken Esports here. Good bump as well, but no one's there to help out now. Bags arrives. A miss from Gonzalo, and Fahia needs to bail him out. Aaron has some space here. He takes it so he gets it around the last defender. What a beautiful play from Aaron there. Sees the space, bangs it down the fields, and just follows it up with a nice little pop over Minty. And I just noticed that, sorry Musa, just to answer Musa's question quickly, Brooksy is currently on a bit of a break, you know, he will return at some point, maybe sooner than later, but yeah, um, Brooksy is still a big part just having a wee break at the moment. Yep. Eat kids. Sends it to the right wall, but he's not able to follow it up, and Minty gets an open open ball here. Aaron. Yeah, it was bad. Poor, poor there from Minty, just giving the ball away. 
you know, trying to go for something fancy, you know, just ended up spinning himself out. Barrett doesn't get the best hit there, but the other team didn't do anything with it. It's a great pass centre from Minty there. Minty, off to Gonzalo. Never mind, no one went for it. Back to Minty. And I have to say, I'm impressed with the Rokin Esports turnaround, the, you know, less double commits, and that's a great. As you say that, they don't get the best hit in the midfield here by Bags. Yeah, yeah and Aaron was going to save that as well, I think, but Minty made sure that that wasn't getting saved. Yeah, it was well played from Minty there, just getting itself in the way, so no matter what, no, what, no matter what Aaron did, it was going in. He could. Sends it onto the right wall, I mean left wall, but intercepted by the other team. It's awkward here in the broken defence. Oh, and that's a great save from Minty. Take, uh, from Minty, take it. A great save taken <laughs> away from Minty. Bags. Bags, what can he do? He's going to land himself. Can't catch up to the ball quick enough. And I'm sitting way deep. Yeah, there's just no one there from the broken esports. There's been a few times now where they've yeah, centred it and just no follow up. Yeah, they just don't have a midfield at the moment. You know, it's. To, they're playing one, one first man, two third man kind of Rocket League. Yeah. Now Turtles always on. That's a great bump from Aaron, I believe. Yeah, it was Aaron. He sends it to the backboard, but Gonzalo just said, "Well, that Minty just takes a shot, nearly goes in." Broken he got that on target. It was a goal. Yeah, broken Esports did not have that defended at all. Gonzalo keeps it in. It's around one and. Oh, I'm gonna save. I don't know if that was a save that didn't get credited, but yeah, the pressure on defence was good there. That was a total save. Oh, bags narrowly avoiding the bump, getting it past Gonzalo. Minty takes control and no one's pressuring him. You cannot give a player of Minty's quality this time on the ball. Because that happens, great pass. Gonzalo gets his fourth for the match. And 2-1 Flame Esports. Yeah. yeah, you just. They gave him all the space, and then when they did give him the space, two people jumped for that aerial, leaving Yeet Kid by himself to defend an absolute play from Flame Esports. Gonzalo is able to connect. Ooh, not far off, it? but Minty gets it. Um, that could be a goal. Can for you get back to the race is on, and he does, and it comes to Aaron who pops it in. Aaron's second of the match. Second of game two. Vegeta didn't get the best hit there. He he sends it off that little part of the of the post and it just rolls straight middle and then he just leaves it. Yeah, I think it was about the only hit he could get on the ball, but you have to be turning round to try and follow up your hit. Here's Minty with all the time in the world. He's shown what he can do in <laughs> unbelievable. You know, just Landed it and pinched it off of Fajita's car. Looked a bit lucky, but a goal's a goal. <laughs> yeah, they just every time Minty's in the air, they need someone to shut him down. But over and over again, they keep leaving him in the midfield, uh, in the sky with his his flip resets, and they're getting punished for it. Yeah, I think it's a big problem of what we seen last season with you. To be honest, a lot of people just gave you so much time. Especially at the beginning of the season, you know? Yeah. But yeah, teams will soon learn. And it's whether Minty can adapt to not having that time is what we'll see. Yeah, 100%. Later in the season when people were starting to read him, or even maybe early in the season, or people where people know how he plays, to see how, see how they perform under that sort of pressure. Minty. Takes out round one, get the flip reset. He's just get the dunk around the other one. That was well played from him now. Vegeta sent to him. Gonzalo can't get the shot on target. And that's game. A much closer game this time around 3 2 to Flame Esports rather than the 4 0. Um, broken, they looked a lot better there, a lot less double commits. You know, but they need to pressure the ball. They can't just give people time. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean they got they got two goals that series, and 
that game, sorry, um, they, they, oh, they had two goals off to Sierra's as well. Um, and that they did very good plays, but it's, every time he's in the air, they just seem to let him do what he wants. And yeah, as we saw, we got, we got, they got punished by that this game and the last game. I wonder if if they'll learn how to shut him down this game and we'll see a, a different series. Well, they've got to learn this game, otherwise that's pretty much going to be game over, you know. Because um, I think it will, you know, if they don't manage to shut Minty out, that will be the end for Broken Esports in this game, you know, first game of the season for them. But as, as I said, as I think this is a learning curve for Broken Esports. This, the, the whole the whole week yeah. will be a learning for them, you know. And I just I think, you know, as long as they can keep their cool, they don't get so angry. He could just win the kickoff, but go straight to Fajita. Bags is up to the aerial. Straight over to Aaron. Aaron shoots it on net, but easy save by Minty there. Minty takes now, takes the control around one, but great interception by Turtle there. Yeah, and that's the pressure that they need. You know, and Bags tries to pass out to Turtle, but no boost. Minty with that time again, yeet. And Aaron, I think. I mean, shut him down. at least you shut him down. Doesn't matter if you send him to. Just shut Minty down, and yeah, as we saw there, it didn't lead to a goal, but that might. It's just oh, wide. Sorry. Yeah, I had an open net there, but I don't think he realised that. This is indeed Rocket League. And Yeet, well, more good pressure from Yeet. Aaron gets it past one, but there's no one there. There's that, there's that lack of midfield presence from Broken Esports. And Yeet with a banging shot. Great save from Gonzalo, and now Minty takes to the air. Gets it past two of them nearly. But Aaron and Bags combined rescued Broken Esports. Yeah, um, Minty just not able to get that shot off there. Gonzalo is waiting out. Bags is fake if Bags misses, but Aaron gets in the way. That was not the best decision for Aaron there. That nearly went yeah, back. Yeah, that, that was a very. Bad decision from Aaron there. Yeah, Loopy, no timeouts in week one. Uh, we, we, we screwed up with the announcement, so week two they come out. And that was a chance for Bag, but he just puts him short wide. Gonzalo has it on the wall, just missed, so now Brooklyn Heathworths have some space to work with. Bags sends it to the backboard, Minty misses! No one there to shoot! Brooklyn Heathworths is. Oh, Minty could have left that for Gonzalo there, but. Oh, great angle from Gonzalo, it's an own goal, nearly, <laughs> but Fajita turns it in. I don't think Aaron respected Gonzalo to get that angle. Yeah, that's brutal. Aaron will be in that position, though. Yeah, Aaron just a little bit too far up in the net. He's not able to get behind the ball because he's so close to it. But we'll see if they're able to bring it back in this game as they have to to keep this series going. Gonzalo bags misses on the sidewall, but he can straighten. Sends it middle with Aaron able to shoot this. Yes, he is. What a great that's play. The instant, that's the instant reply that Broken Esports needed that's shown that their heads aren't going down, that they've still got fight in them. Yeet Kid is shown to a lot the series. He's the one he's the one keeping that keeping their offense going. Yeah, uh, I'm liking this speed. Yeah. Aaron. Not the best kickoff, but it does go to his teammates, so you could say that is better. He's just got to learn the kickoff there because I've seen him a few times now when he's been going for back corner boost, he completely misses it. I think it's happened three times now that I've noticed. Minty's RP oh, part of it off. Bags just defended the Meister we're in. It does not. That was a oh, scary Bags. one. I thought Bags is back to own go. It was a great save though. Yeah, it was. Bags <coughs> keeping that pressure on. Just Forces Minty to go all the way to the defense. Minty gets two flip resets, keeps control, goes around two of them. But Aaron does well to get the 50. That's a great pop up by Bags. Aaron, uh, oh, Minty's on the backboard though and take it away. That's a double and commit. And that's an open net. And that'll be 2 1. <laughs> and Fajita's stealing Minty's goal again. Oh. <laughs> 
And so yet again, Flame Meat Bots are doing so well keeping that pressure, but they just randomly they just decide to send two people up for one ball. And they've been punished for that multiple times this series. Minty's up. Gets a double tap. Just send it middle. Yeet Kid's there to defend it though. Yeet Kid has the ball. Gets the 50 off the bags. What was the bag able to do? Gets oh. pumped by Aaron. Aaron's not having his best of games here in this game three. Does get the save. Save. Eat. save. Yeet. Gets around one, but Minty intercepts it well. Fakes there. Flip reset. Gets the flip reset. Great save from Aaron there. Couple of key saves coming out from Aaron. But they need that offense. They need one goal. They've got a minute ten left. Aaron gets the flip gets an edge ball. Over two, but then would have put it in. Bag six is shot. That is weak. Aaron right. tries to keep it in there. And the, the problem for broken esports is when they get this sustained level of pressure, you know, they, it just it dissipates very quickly. Yeah, they you know, don't. Someone... They don't seem to hold it for very long. Vegeta taking all oh, the boost, even broken with nothing here. Yeet Kid centers it. It's a bit high for anyone to deal with. Aaron tries to keep it in, but still with a follow up bags just to take the shot, but pinch wide. Keep this pressure going. Yeet dives in, but can't make contact. Aaron misses, but bags will take, keep it. Demo play could be on the cards here, and it goes for it, and what a save oh, from Minty. He could have committed here, but Bags, yeah, oh. Bags isn't able to get back in time. What a save, though, from Minty. Well done uh, to avoid the demo, get the save, and then go down the other end and get a goal. I think you could, I think you could think that was in, because he went all in. Into yeah, that but they also at the stage where they had to kind of go all in, you yeah. know. Yeah, 100% if it's not on him. And that'll be that, you know. But not a bad showing from Broken Esports, you know. Playing what looked like a really good team in Flame Esports. Yeah, 100%. Um, very well played yeah. from both teams. Broken yeah. Esports definitely could have taken a game or two there. Just to double it, commit. Definitely game two they could have definitely taken. But it wasn't to be. I hope they take that game, they learn from it, and come back next week.